Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Sean New Show, friends. Great to be with you today. We have an amazing show, friends. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what's going on with those crazy Democrats. There's definitely a mental illness going on with them. I think there's no doubt about that. And we're going to break down some clips because, friends, it's getting to the point where if somebody is defending Joe Biden, they need to be shamed for life. There's no excuse for this. We all see what's going on. Some of us are just being honest about what we see. And some people are lying and deluding themselves that literally a monkey in a cage is a better choice to be president than Donald Trump. And that's it's led to some sort of psychosis. And we're not a political show. We just look at the truth. And friends, this is right before our eyes. I mean, people are defending somebody who's not even capable of finishing sentences, doesn't make any sense. Let's forget about the politics. We're living in an age where we're, we're the leader of the country who won illegitimately, and that's just a fact. You can say that, you know, we need evidence and we got to do this and we got to do that. You got to come to the truth and realize Joe, nobody likes Joe Biden, including Democrats. If you actually think he won fair square in election, good luck. I bet there are unicorns and other fairies and satanic spirits lurking around wherever you want to be. The truth is he stole the damn election. We all know it, friends. We tried to stop the steal. No one wanted to help us out. So we're going to dig into this where we're seeing basically, I got to say, being a Democrat is starting to it's starting to it's, it's a major personality flaw. Let's just say that. The more I'm seeing them, I'm saying you cannot recover from this. This is not a difference of opinion. This is not tomato versus tomato. This is your brains are messed up. You're very dangerous people. You cannot be trusted. Now, they've showed their colors on a lot of things. January 6th, the election, COVID, all vaccines. It was very obvious what the powers want you to believe. And here at Sean News, it's important that we go forward. We're, we know how to see the world. And yeah, we're going to laugh at Brandon Shaw. We're going to laugh at the golden hour and the grifting hour and all that. But we also got to be beacons for truth of what's going on. We're trying to glorify God over here, friends. So we're going to go on into this. We're going to see what's going on with those crazy Democrats and hopefully open some eyes. Look, it's okay. You were lost. You didn't like Trump. Now come over on this side and start being on the side of being honest because authenticity matters in this world, friends. Because I got to know right now who's ready for what I wanted. Where is my thing? Where is it? There it is. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. Shaw News every day. Let's go! Man, I did it. <laughs> I ruined, I ruined my intro song. Right That's okay. We're being a good friend. It's Friday night. We're like, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. Right? The Shaw News. I might, I might be coming in hot on something you don't care about. It does, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, click on another video. Nobody's feelings will be hurt. But we got, we got to show people what's going on in the world. We can't just talk about dumb topics all day and laugh at the idiots and the fools that we'll be taking down. We got to look at other things. We got to look at what's really happening in the world and show people. If you can't see it now, it's starting to become unforgivable. Look at this. Another goddamn fucking stupid Republican talking point that is destroying our world about climate change. But before I do, I want to address my own caustic attitude. Hey, this is the thing. You don't know, need to know any of the, of, of the issues. You should be able to see from this man's demeanor, from his sociopathic eyes, physiognomy, this is a sneaky guy. The way he talks, there's this anger, there's this, you better agree with me because I'm going to make it super uncomfortable for you if you don't. So I'm going to force you into agreeing with me because I'm a crazy judgmental person who thinks I'm better than everybody because of my... My political views. How dumb is that, friends, right? These people are so proud of themselves because of how they vote. I mean, that's just, can you imagine something dumber than that? I don't like it. I don't like talking like this. I don't like being like this. Then them. don't. What are you, a woman? You can't control yourself, sir? What's wrong? The gray canary. I can't. I so can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine me being like that, friends? Can you imagine good old Sean News? Oh, these Democrats are oh, all these. No, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. When you have truth on your side, it's funny. There's no hurry. There's, you know, we know where we're going. It's, we're going to get there. It's all going to be good. Lord will provide. Everything's great. These people are demented, freaky creep, creeps. You don't even need all the issues. Here's what I'll tell you on Sean News. I don't need to go in on the issues. We all know the issues. I, is it obvious enough to everyone that 
it's Democrats versus Republicans, whatever you want to call it, globalists versus the populace. Kanye West and some of the conspiracy theorists say it's all Jews at the top. We're not saying that. We don't know about that. That sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory. We're just saying we're being manipulated to fight against each other and to distract ourselves from real issues. There's no point talking about the issues until everyone realizes that we're being fed nonsense. This guy is a paid plant by the Democratic Party. No guy comes has this many opinions on everything, and they all perfectly align with whatever Democrats want, us, want, want, to, want you to believe. You think this is an accident? You think this guy's just really passionate? Or do you think they pay people off? This guy's probably an actor or something. Look at him. The hair is a little too good, a little too... This is not... He's a little too fit. He's playing a role. Wake up, dummies. Well, oh, Gavin Newsom's better than... It doesn't matter. You're, you're not understanding. The elections are fixed. <laughs> They're fraudulent. And we're being fed nonsense. Do you think that Gavin Newsom's going to help any black people with whatever he wants to do? Do you really believe that? If he just moves money over to this side and this side, the black people... I mean, does anyone actually believe this? Democrats, every, every election... Oh, guys, we're really going to get in there and change it. I'm like, are you kidding? Have you been watching what's going on in every Democrat-run city? You think that's going to branch out across the nation? You actually think something's going to get done? Wow. It's bizarre. I mean, these Democrats, really, friends, we try to be non-political here at Sean News, but we're calling balls and strikes. They're absolutely insane at this point. It's unforgivable this in person i prefer to see the best in people and relate to people oh, through common you humanity yeah. even when we disagree but so why are you why are you because this issue so this is like you know it's like you work out a deal with your girlfriend you're like All right, we're not going to talk about that anymore you know you make up on it and then she brings up the story when you're on vacation you're like why i thought we weren't going to talk about that anymore and but that, this was a really bad case <laughs> you know i know i love to be a nice guy but 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 this, this is too important. Global warming is too important. Look at this guy. Do not be, don't worry about the issues. The issue, you're being played. Everyone's being played. Here's a very easy heuristic. The side that is trying to control behavior the most is the bad side. The side that's trying to censor information and viewpoints and opinions, they're always in the wrong. Always, every single time. So sorry, Democrats. Sorry, globalists. Sorry, left-wingers. That's all you guys right now. No one wants to censor or a, a Democrat. What are they? You know, we, we don't care. We think you, we think you're we think you're a joke. When we see you, we're like, these are not serious people. Yeah, let's play more Maxine Waters. Let's play Barack Obama. Whoever you think, whoever your idol is, let will play them. They all suck. Kamala Harris, Hakeem Jeffries, whoever. Al Sharpton. Who is the savior of the Democratic Party? Big Mike? Is it Big Mike? I mean, at some point, we got to ask, ask major questions. Oh, my God! Some people think that uh, Big Mike is a woman named Michelle Obama. I mean, can you imagine what people are willing to think these days? It's all bonkers, right, friends? I'm a little lost. I don't know what we're talking about. Is she these devices <laughs> Wait, these she's a guy, right? She's a guy, right? <laughs> The thing is, I don't know what it is. I just know that any information that says she's a woman, I, dis I, 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 I ignore it. I say, no, that, that's definitely wrong. <laughs> we know the truth. We saw those videos where Ding Dong dingling around. That's what some of the interns said. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it, listening to YouTube. Used by radical Republicans to destroy and undermine our democracy oh! and environment. Oh, so I'm going so to friends, we heard the million dollar word right, right there. Back. Undermine the democracy. That's when you know you're being fed a bunch of lies. You're undermining our democracy. What democracy? The one where we can't challenge the vote totals because that's somehow an insurrection? That, that democracy? Oh, yeah, this was the safest, fairest election. I'm like, why are you saying that? You realize that that was a crafted line that they had to repeat. And idiots like you would pick up on it. Did your brain work? I mean, seriously, these Democrats, the most honorable uh, position a Democrat can make, besides con getting the hell out of the Democratic Party, the best thing they could ever do is just say, okay, they're, they've gone too extreme. We're not gonna, I'm not going to pay attention anymore. I'm not going to pay attention. Get out of politics altogether. If you're an activist, if you're defending Joe Biden, you know you're, you're going to have to live when everyone's going to talk about how dumb you are. And, you, and your only excuse is, I'll root for my team till death, even if the guy leading it is a freaking incompetent P3DO.
back at them. In this case, yes, it is true that the climate does naturally change. 12,000 years down. ago, the end of the last ice age allowed humans to proliferate through the world. But it's also true that humans affect climate, you fucking morons. It is possible. Of course they affect climate. An ant, an ant affects the climate. Everything affects the climate. To what degree and to what degree can we change it? And is it worth letting people in Africa and India not have, you know, still live in poverty over? No, I want to feel like a good person. I care about the climate because I don't have God. I, I'm a godless freak y ranting in my, in my apartment. I'm a godless freak. I have nothing going on. I don't have a savior. My God is Mother Earth. Oh, we got to save our... If, that, if Mother Earth is your God, aren't you? Like, that's kind of pathetic that you got... That a bunch of human beings got to stop people from riding motorcycles and combustible engines. Jeez. Your God's pretty weak if we all have to convert to solar panels to keep him alive. That's pathetic. This is Gaia. This is pagan wor worship. It's all satanic, friends. That's, this is the thing that nobody wants to just agree with it's all based and rooted in satan trying to win a spiritual war we're not going to let him we're one of the boldest ones fighting out there possible to have a morning and an afternoon yes nature causes wildfires and it's also true that if you pour gasoline okay so what he's saying yes we all agree that humans are playing a role okay what yeah, that's not a gotcha why don't you talk in specifics about how much we can actually affect the climate if we stop driving all converted? We can't even have an honest conversation about how, you know, electric cars are still powered by fossil fuels. They just want to ignore that part. They're fake. If, if, honestly, if your viewpoints align with him, you're an idiot. You're showing that propaganda easily penetrates your brain, not ours. Fires, you make it worse. In the case of the climate, we have 8 billion people on the planet. We have never seen anything like this in the history of humanity. So what? So what? In the last 100 years, we have... You could have said that about anything. This is ridiculous. This is not science. This is a stupid religion right here. Stupid religion that leads to hell. There, I said it. There's nothing. We should preserve our climate. We should try to reduce carbon emissions. Why the heck not? But... What's, what are you going to do? Okay, what's the plan? What's the plan? They're just bitching. They want everyone to believe in their religion before they decide why. Well, just believe first that there's climate change. I need that for it. I need that. Why do we need that? Let's, why don't you tell me what your plans are? Maybe it's not a big deal. We can do it. They don't want to talk about solutions. They want to feel like better people, just like people, religious people do, right? They don't actually want to change anything. They just want to feel better than somebody else because of their, their thoughts. It's pathetic. Drupled our population. Prior to that, we had never doubled in 100 years. From zero to 1,500. Whatever. We didn't even double. Have you ever been in an airplane? Have you ever looked? Have you ever been on a flight across the country? There's nobody there. There's plenty of room. Stop coming from a place of scarcity. There's plenty of room for more people. There's nothing wrong with this. this it's like, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You're a childless man. You're probably, a, you know, LGBT, something like that. I'm guessing. I mean, I don't know. You think this guy hooks up with women, Brent? I don't know. Vote in the comments. Let me know what you think. And but this guy's a freak. 500 million people. All of our Western paradigms, all of our Eastern paradigms, all of our religious paradigms Dude, are based on a get world laid. that doesn't exist anymore. Dude, get laid, bro. This is, this is, there's no reason to be this agitated about the climate. <laughs> how dumb, how dumb is this person? Getting mad about the climate. It's not, it's one thing, like, can you imagine any of these people getting, getting mad about P3DOPHILA? Yeah, we know that's a no. No. <laughs> they love that. You'll never see them angry about all the, you know, child, tra you know, that's, tr you know, the traffic. How do I word this so YouTube doesn't flag it? It's just, it's unbelievable, right? We got to live in this age, right? Don't, no, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Then you'll be a cyber bullying and harasser and have your channel demonetized. We could have been making thousands and millions of dollars, friends, if we were monetized. Do you realize that? We, could, we are leaving so much money on the table because YouTube wants to defend the P3DOs. I mean, this is really mind-boggling stuff. Anymore, you fucking idiots! We have never seen anything like 8 billion humans consuming Great. Using How much more of this? resources, Jeez. creating waste. We are having a dramatic mm. effect on our own <laughs> home. 
When we say invite. Let me tell you right now, the, the, a guy who talks like this is not based in truth, okay? Do you understand that? Can people see that? But Sean, the economy is very important. I understand that, but do you understand that this is not how a honest person acts? This is how a dangerous, you know, dogmatic, crazy person. Some of the super chats are saying, you know, some, an LG or something like that. LG THTV. We love those. He's just showing you how mentally ill he is. He's showing you how much he'll sell his soul for. He'll, he'll, he'll pitch for anything. We can make endless videos about this guy. He's absolutely insane. Environment. It's not some woo-woo liberal thing. It's our fucking house. And why, why do Democrats love this type of just cussing, like, incessantly? Yeah, fuck, 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 fuck. This is horrible. We depend on it to survive, so no, we don't want to burn it down. Yeah, Wake okay. up. Wow, very good guy, him. Uh, what's his name? The Gray Canary. Nowhere to find him. I was looking at Michael Rappaport. Man, this guy's weird, friends. This guy's weird. Big time, you know, another guy, simps for the Democrats. Just weird. Every one of his opinions perfectly aligned with whatever the Democrats would want him to say. Isn't that weird, Michael Rappaport? It's almost like you don't have a brain and people tell you what to make videos about. How sad. I'm making a lot of money. I'm touring. Yeah, and you're, and you're a slave reading, defending whatever position you got to defend to keep your masters happy. <laughs> Over here is Sean News. We don't give a damn how much money you're making. You're sharing a hotel room with Dean Collins, friends. This is bizarre. Oh, Sean, he's doing a hell of a lot better than you. Oh, yeah, and he's staying in a hotel room with Dean Collins. Wow, great. He's doing so much better than me. I don't get to share a hotel room with Dean Collins. I'm not doing well enough to get that kind of benefit. Look at that. Look at this. Feeling inside, I need you, need you back in my life, baby. baby. When you Look at these guys. You took a part of me. Yikes. And you too, and to believe. I can't watch it, friends. Come I hate this. Baby, we belong together. Oh, so Who's cringe. gonna talk to me when oh, the time gets tough? Who's gonna talk Stop to it. me when the and who's gonna oh, talk to gosh, me? Oh gosh, this is the friends. This is tough. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, we wow. belong together. Oh, it's over, it's over. Yes. Jeez. Can you can you imagine, friends? That was like an ice bath for me in terms of cringy pain. I hope you felt that. He's defending the Democrats, Michael Rapaport. Isn't he amazing? What he put right here. What's the problem? Yet he probably had to take a piss. Watch this, friends. Did you see Joe Biden? This guy is well, on I mean, a show. They're like, all right, Joe, th thanks for talking to us. Usually he says, thank you right back. And then they cut to a commercial break. That's what normally happens. Look at what Joe Biden did here. Oh, man, friends, this is absolutely crazy. And the ones that didn't vote for your bills, but run on them. them That's too. right. <laughs> Mr. President, thank Where you. Where are you going? Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. I it's great it. to have you. Thank you. We don't thank normally you. do that. Look at don't this. go anywhere. It's a very exciting day around here. Where's he going? Um, we'll have reaction and analysis to everything we just heard. Democrats, and, and come the ones get that your didn't boy. Vote. Barack Obama, come get your boy. Big Mike, come get your boy's boy. What is that all about? Oh, you had to take a piss. Oh, well, uh, I mean, man, you guys have to, you know, you have to live in the world after Joe Biden passes away and we get to look at you and be like, really? You defended this guy. Wow. Why would anybody trust you? You're showing you have no discernment. You're showing you're not honest. Have you seen one honest Democrat say Joe Biden is actually even leaking on, you know, I don't expect him to be public about it, saying Joe Biden is completely unfit to be president. We need to swap him out with somebody else. This is a disaster. The American people deserve better. Now, one Democrat has said that. Not one. When we all know it's true. That's the thing. Nobody will speak truth. Well, they, want, they don't want to hurt Joe Biden's feelings, huh? He's such a good guy. You see this, friends? He's doing the pledge of in, uh, the, the, the Indian National Anthem, and he's the one. Look at this, dummy. That's not our music, stupid idiot. Put your hand down, you stupid idiot. Put your hand down, you moron, you perv, you P3DO. This, is, this dummy doesn't even know what song is playing. Oh, Sean, that doesn't matter. He's better than Trump. Anything's better than Trump. Anything. See this? You like this guy? <laughs>
You're going to come get your boy. Come get your boy. Come on, Democrats. Why don't we have one honest Democrat saying this is unacceptable? The American people deserve better. We need to be led by someone who's with it. Come on, Kamala Harris. You can step up. We, we got to have accountability. We have the most dishonest. I mean, the dis, most dishonest people are Democrats, friends. This is just a fact. All was coming back here. Remember what I said about Afghanistan? I said Al Qaeda would not be there. What? I said it wouldn't be there. I said we'd get help from the Taliban. What's happening now? What's going on? I don't know. Read your press. Whoa. I was right. <laughs> Read your press. <laughs> Thanks. I was right. So, so, so the, the report is from the State boom, 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 boom. Like, See how worthless the major news networks are? What they should say is, why are you never making sense? Why do you need people ushering you around? Is there something wrong with your health? Your brain seems messed up. That's what an honest uh, person would say. You're not right. Everyone can see it. And two-thirds of the country... <laughs> would actually think the country would get worse if you got elected. How are you, how are you, how are you not caring at all to show us that that's not true? He should be doing more interviews than anybody else. They're trying to hide him. That's because Democrats are not honest. They won't tell you. Just say now that we, he's a mess and we need something better than that. They won't be able to do that. They'll say something about, oh, it's Trump, it's Trump, he's not even Trump. It's like their brains are broken. <laughs> We're not talking about Trump right now. We're saying Joe Biden is unacceptable. What are you going to do about it? But Trump is no better, blah, blah. You're just like, ah. Why can't they focus? What's wrong with their brains, friends? I re re we really need to know. We got to help them out. We have so many shows. We're going to get to those. But I think we had a great show, friends. I think we're showing definitively. We have this great canary. We have a lot of. A lot of episodes, friends, where we're gonna just going to be able to show what is going on so we can train our discernment. My goal is for people to see these people, you know, the Sean News friends, being able to watch these people and to see what is going on so they can, you know, interpret what's going on. We need more truth tellers in the world. We need people that can see by the way you argue a point, your entire vibe. They need to pick up on those signals because that's how you're going to know it's true. You can't just listen to words. You can't just listen to the people you like. Who is giving you a way to think about what is actually happening in the world? Sean News is doing that. I think we're doing a great job of it, friends. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you got some value from this. Hopefully you love it. Hopefully you want to like and subscribe. We're almost at 1,000. I think we're probably just a few subscribers away. The next 2,000 is going to be very coveted, so get down in there. But we're taking off to the moon, and we're, you know, look, we, we plan to have it. We have big plans for the moon, friends. I can tell you right now. I really do feel like we have something that other, you know, podcasts don't have. They have a cool, fun host that's seeing what's going on, an engaged audience that's growing, a good amount of haters, good amount of people that want to sit out with Sean News and tell me where I'm wrong. We have so many ways to make money, friends. We're looking at it. We're like, well, but here's the thing. We don't want to make money. We want to glorify God if that's okay. Put the money away. We don't want, we're, not, we're not bought and paid for. You're not going to get us to, you know, buy this, buy that, do this, do that. Take your money, gamble it, do this, parlay bets. Buy some alcohol. Come on, I got some alcohol. So you don't want to have a hangover? Come on, use some Kratom. Come on, I got some Kratom. Come on, blue chew, blue chew. We're not doing that. We're like, yeah, we don't need the money. We're good on the money. We'll come up with something amazing and then we'll share it with people if that's okay. And if we decide to start decide to ch charge money um, because you got to ship stuff and things like that, then that's perfectly fine. But that's not the goal. The goal is not to make money. And that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with making money, but the goal is to leave your audience better than, off than they were before. We're finding out with the Democrats and a lot of the Republicans, I hate to say it, are just not honest people. Everyone's bought and paid for. I can honestly on one Maybe on one hand, count how many people that are truly honest and not owned and aren't trying to sell you something and won't go somewhere because it offends somebody else. Sean News is on that list. Not very many others. So, friends, hope you, hopefully you got some value. I'll see you on the other.